So here comes the important topic in C language. It is decisional statements, if and else. Right? So why do we, we use uh, this if and else? Because to make a decision, right? So let's say an example is um, hmm, int a equals to 1, let's say b equals to 2, right? If a is less than b, right? So print uh, hello exclamation and stop it. Right. What does this mean? If a which is 1 is less than b which is 2, 1 is less than 2 then print hello. Right. So let's execute this program. Okay. And it will definitely print hello. Right. And what if if I change the sign surely it will not print anything right it will just leave a blank so if you want to uh, write something in the false condition so you may also print by see you tomorrow okay now let's compile it bye see you tomorrow right so what is actually happening here is if this uh, boolean expression is true then it will execute the following function so now if the uh, boolean expression is false it will uh, execute this line of code so it will not execute only this line it will also execute the following lines if you want to print it for example here it will print up till here okay if if uh, other codes are written here okay other lines of code up till here and also you can ch check for this okay it will start executing this line and up till execute this last line right now the question is can we have an if statement in a if statement like this yes we can have okay also we may have this else statement inside the if statement because this if and else come as a whole packet right and uh, also you may write if statement in the else condition right and also you can write if else here right it is also possible else uh, if else under else is also possible but you cannot write uh, else inside the else condition right it is it is actually false it is not valid in C language right and uh, make sure that you must have something here in inside it you may have a boolean expression or a simple one one means here logical true means always this inside loop uh, inside if condition will definitely occur also you may wonder that this zero is logical false that uh, this statement will not be executed but else will be executed right here and now some people ask questions why we write else if right in in this way why we write here in, in this uh, fashion right like okay so it actually does mean uh, that this if is inside the else condition right and this uh, bracket is representing the if condition inside the else condition you can also write it as if mm, like this if is here and you may write in this way right so here it is okay so it is the equivalent of the previous one now let's do some practice problems here so let's execute this code now okay so a is 1 b is 2 here inside the if boolean expression we have 0 it is logical false so we should not execute this if condition rather we have to execute the else condition from here to up till here right and we have a if condition inside the else so let's check the boolean expression so here a is less than b yes it is true and so we need to print 77 let's check it out yes 77 is the answer 
And the next question is, can we uh, skip this zero here like this? So it, it, it should not be uh, there like this, okay? So it is a false and it's a wrong condition. It, it is going to get you an error. Let's check. Yes, error expected expression before token. Okay, you may also include one is logical true. If we write logical true like this, else condition will not be executed anymore. And the control will jump after this line here. Let's say print 88. Right? Now, what is the output of this following expression? So, if we'll if is going to be executed, it is true, fine. Now else will not going to be executed and lastly 88 will be printed. Right. So here let's see the answer. 88 is fine. Now if I remove this 88, okay. So now let's see output nothing else. Okay. Because no line has been written in this if condition. Else will not be executed, right? And let's say we want to print. Now let's execute this code. Right? Let's compile it and we have to check if this condition is true or not. Yes, it is logical true and we have to execute this print statement and we need to leave this else condition. Right? So what is it is printing is 3 backspace 4. So it is a backspace and then 4. Right? So 3 then backspace the 4 and then uh, print it for. Let's uh, modify some of the portion here. Let's say, um, let's say I'm giving a space here. Let's see what is the output now. See, three has been removed, and I have put a space here, and then four is printed. Now let's execute this program. So here, uh, one is there, and we need to print here. So if you see that. 3y is followed by a backspace, so it will remove the y, and then 4 will print it. Let's execute this. So 34 is the answer, right? And let's now let's execute this code here. Uh, you can see that uh, if a into b. So what does this mean? So a is 1, into b is 2, 2 into 1 is going to give you 2, so you can just replace it by 2, and 2 is logical true right so it is logical true then this statement will be executed now in the console first thing it is printing is y and 3 right so just focus on this y3 then backslash r this is going to uh, take the cursor to the front of the uh, 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 console right and then it will overwrite four here right so it is going to give you the 43 right so let's check the output 43 okay so let's uh, take this example different uh, angle okay now what is going to happen here is yy3 would get uh, printed in the console and then carriage return will take you to the home or the front of the console and then four will be uh, just inserted or inside in in the place of y, right? So four y three would be the answer to this problem, right? So so you can just experiment with this all the uh, print test statement, different kinds of print test statement, and even you may write a print test statement in the for in the if boolean expression, okay? So let's uh, do that, right? Uh, let me take this and paste it here right and um, okay so let's uh, execute now okay no error is found okay so it means that you may print any statement without using a semicolon right so it is a very important uh, concept that you may print any statement without using a semicolon if you are using uh, if uh, uh, construct okay so have you understood why it is happening so and why even why this if statement executed because printf is going to return some value which is an integer type that's why this integer type 
is going to be logical true in our case okay so we will explain you in this with a better way of uh, doing so let me comment this first right or let me delete this okay now be careful in understanding because it is going to be difficult so I'm writing here printf right printf um, I will print the output written by the printf statement right so let's say I'm writing hello right and closing it okay now what should be the answer to this problem okay we'll go inside the format specifier first and it will it is showing that it will place a value integer value here so what integer value should it place the number of characters written by the printf statement here okay so number of characters are h1 1 2 3 4 5 okay 5 is the answer okay let's uh, execute this and it will also print the hello right so let me execute okay hello 5 okay so how many letters are there 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 would be there placed here but before that hello will be printed okay so now let's uh, take the output of this following program code right so here you can see that uh, print f I have how many letters are there that should be placed here okay so letter is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so 7 would be placed just here okay and 100 rupees right so let's execute this I have 700 rupees okay in this fashion you may experiment with this now also if you want to uh, take a different point of view how to take the uh, integer written by the scanf okay now let's focus on this okay I have uh, put this scanf inside a printf statement to check what is the output written by the scanf right so here you can see that I have scanned three uh, variables which is variable x is scanned three times here okay I'm using the ampersand sign so that we know that right and let's check the output of the following program so let me scan three numbers and then I will print the lucky number okay now see this I'm scanning three numbers right random numbers three numbers lucky number is three why because the number of variables scanned is three that's why it is returning the value three right and it is also valid for printf okay so printf returns the number of characters scanned and scanf returns the number of characters scanned right so you should remember this it is a very important point so there's an important question here uh, try to solve this question okay so I will uh, reach a conclusion here so uh, try to execute this code now here you can see that you have scanned three variables okay it is fine but what about this variable so it is not under the scanning it is under the print statement right so scan ends here scan ends here and it comes under the print statement right so when I execute this code so me mentally uh, in common sense the answer to this problem would be here x would be assigned with the last scanned uh, variable value right so but here you see a difference in the output let's see the difference here let's me execute this let's say 34 78 12 right so lucky number is 3 okay it is good but why it is giving you the answer 0 so the question is this so the answer to this question is it is giving 0 because when I started scanning here right it has already printed the value of X that's why uh, it is showing you 0 uh, but if I interchange the places let's say x is here uh, here right so there would be a difference 
okay now let's me execute this code so you can see that the last scan number comes in the place of the lucky number and the value of x is equal to 3 okay so you can just map with the difference in the code see uh, the scanning okay of the scanning numbers is placed here because it is the last format specifier that's why the number of scanned variables is going to be placed in the x equals to 3 fine and the last scan variable is equals to 156 that's why it is showing here lucky number but when we were doing in the previous code the answer was quite different okay so just remember this if I place here x right so the print statement starts from the behind not from the front right so before scanning we have already printed the value of x that's why it is not showing you the correct answer right so this is all thank you for watching